Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. Spring fashion, we're diving in. I've got front door fashion here. This is their early mid spring line. I've had this box about a week and I have been absolutely itching to dive in. I love getting staple pieces at the beginning of the season because then I have the ability to really wear them and optimize all the way through. In Texas, I know there's a few states like Texas that really your spring summer wardrobe kind of goes together and your fall winter wardrobe kind of goes together. So I really feel like I get a better bang for my buck when I get it right out the gate at the beginning of the season. So I'm gonna show you my spring box. Front door fashion is one of my all time favorites because the clothes are so gorgeous and you get a free personal stylist. As in I have done nothing paid nothing and I have a box which I guarantee you has around two thousand dollars worth of clothes inside sitting right here. If you want the full nitty-gritty on front door fashion uh, I'll put the playlist up here you can bounce over there but even quicker you can go to the subscription box directory or you can go to the blog post I wrote featuring this box. It has price points the names of the clothing items I'm trying on just in case you like one of them and you want to go request it. Uh, what else? It has sizing, it has all that info, and it has info on how this clothing curation works. It's not a, a subscription. And you can just pop on and order one when you want one. Shirt I'm wearing actually is from my last box I got, or the box before, I can't remember. And it is delicious. It was an investment. I think the shirt was $200, $250. But it's a key piece. Front door fashion, you're gonna invest in key pieces. Average price point is $100 and above. Okay, I'm gonna get these items on so you can see the quality, the curation. My stylist, Rachel, I have had for six or seven years now. If you're liking what you're seeing at any point, you can go grab that URL down below. When you sign up through me, you get $50 to shop with in your very first curation. When you open your box, you're gonna have a garment bag that looks like this. You're going to have a little packet that has all the info here. You're going to open your garment bag and see all of the clothes. The clothes are actually rubber band together. So when you look here, I'll grab a grouping. This is a grouping of clothes in that notes that I just had over there will tell me how to put them on, what shirt goes with what bottoms, what past items in my closet that I can repurpose to go with these items. This is 100% curated for me. So I like color with some color with a little bit more color. So if you're looking at this and you're like, oh my goodness, like I could never handle that. You don't have to go for the option that is all color. You can go for more neutrals. You can go for more bolds like this. You just let your stylist know and then she goes and shops for you. All right, let's learn a little bit about what she pulled together for me. Tape to resell my box, my postage to return the things I don't need. I've got a handwritten note from my stylist with tips and tricks on how to try things on. In my box, I have 13 items with a total retail value of $3,237. <laughs> I cannot wait to try these on. So things to know, if you keep the whole box, you get 10% off. That's the only like buy discount that they do. Once again, you're getting a free personal stylist who's going to go shop for you and they do not mark up the clothes. I have been shopping with them for years and their prices match Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom's, Neiman's, but every outfit that I get compliments on that everybody's like, that is so cute. It's one Rachel did. It is not one I did. Collection one. Gear up for spring in this gorgeous printed top from Tyler Bow. Okay, let's go. Oh y'all, I am absolutely crushing on this Tyler Bow watercolor blouse. I'm wearing a size extra small, $228, but it's been paired with the Susanna Monaco pleated short in the color lip gloss. Also an extra small at 158 and check that stretch, dig in the stretch. Here's the look untucked, unstructured. I am loving the colors on this one. Okay, same top. I've added the Susanna Monaco faux leather moto jacket in the color C, extra small, 258. I've paired it with a pair of jeans that they sent in my last box. You told me to go grab them and I think it completes this look beautifully. Check my nails. I'm totally crushing on this color of blue right now. 
Anywho, loving this casual look, very comfy. Let's see what we get next. Okay, we're still hanging in in collection one. I have on the shorts again and the moto jacket again, but I've paired it with a new top. This is the E-Crew Kidman Reversible Satin Shell in white, size extra small, 172. It does feel quite delicious on. Moving over to collection two, y'all, a strikeout on the A Goldie Parker Long Shorts. These are size 25, $148, and as you can see, they are too big for me, but we can fix that. I ran and grabbed a pair of shorts from a pass box and put them on and partnered the same shirt, the Velvet Heart Riley Gauze shirt, bright green, extra small, $66, and I think it's an excellent fit. I love uh, Velvet Heart's signature tails in the back. Oh my gosh, I have found my ultimate mom look. This is Lola and Sophie at the cap sleeve baseball tee and the wide leg slip pant. Tee is 95, pants are 195. I have never looked more ready for a kid's soccer game than I do now. Completely swapping looks, collection three, date night. This shirt is the ruched sleeve keyhole top and navy, size small, 398. Paired with these adorable shorts, the 1520 button up off white shorts, 154. The top is a bit much, but you can see when we swap the top and keep the shorts, it creates a whole new cute look. And this shirt is adorable. The Millie Petals in Bloom blouse, size small, 325. Why do I always love the super expensive stuff? So in an attempt to justify the blouse, I ran and got the white pants. These are the white pants already in my closet that I had on earlier, and I just partnered the same blouse. Is it worth it, y'all? Speak into me, I need your advice, because I love the way this looks, feels. Those sleeves literally speak to me. I think they are so cute. And them scrunched up gives a much more spring, lightweight look. Okay, she gave us one more date night look. This is the Ramey Book Varnish Dress. The color is misty, size extra small. Ooh, give a guess on the price on this one. If you've watched my past videos, you know this brand is a bit bougie. Type in your guess now. I have to say, I love the skirt. Don't know if I love the top. Value on this one is $4.45. Last, but certainly not least, is another Ramey Book Livia Dress in the color sea green, extra small. It's another one, y'all. 595 for this beauty. I do love the green. I love the swish of the skirt. Once again, I just feel like the top is honestly a bit boring, especially for how cool the bottom is. Okay, that was so much fun. That is normally how my boxes are for years. Five plus years, I get them in and I'm like, oh my gosh, these clothes are the cutest. So of the 13 items, I love 11 of them. So of the $3,237 that's in this box, I love $2,917 worth. Gosh. So I'm actually gonna heavily lean on you guys to say yes and no. As you've gone through the video, if you need to bounce back, I have minute markers down below with each of the outfits. I would super appreciate your opinion because I don't have $3,000 to spend on clothes, but I have been setting aside, I'm always setting aside a little bit of money for my paycheck to be able to splurge on a few items. Uh, something I wanna point out is, uh, you know, if you keep the whole box, you get 10% off, which is a $323 savings. The two items I don't like come to $320. So if, our entertaining, just returning two items, it would actually be in my favor to keep the entire box, get the 10% off, and then go to a resale store and sell those items. The two items I don't love, love, love are the A Goldie denim shorts, they're just too big. And then the E Crew white top, I already have a version of that. She sent a new one just in case my other one was messed up because it is like three, four-ish years old. Um, but it's $172 and that seems like such a splurge for a basic piece. I still can be very simple about things at times. So, um, the only box I've ever had a problem with was my last box. I'll link it up here. Uh, Rachel and Front Door Fashion knocked it out of the park. They sent everything that my husband put on my style profile for me. I just was not adventurous enough. So if you are looking 
for more edgy or sexy clothes than what I've shown you here, that video I just linked would be a good one for you. Um, if you want to give them a try, go grab that coupon. No, link. Go grab that link below. It's going to give you $50 to shop with. You are not going to be charged a styling fee. So you really don't have anything to lose. Things to note is price range. This is going to be a little more splurge worthy. You can go down below and see size range. Um, but this is a small Texas ran business. So they don't have the full size range that they really, really hope. Like I would benefit if they had more petites, but they just don't right now. So go take a peek at that as well. If you're looking and you're like, yes, I'm ready for some splurge items, some beautiful key pieces in my wardrobe and the size option fit. I, I can't give a higher recommendation for any clothing box than I can for front door fashion. If you're looking at front door fashion and you have Budget issues or size issues, I want to encourage you to head straight over to Wantable. I have a $35 off for that one as well. I'll link a Wantable video up here, but down below I can also put a link so you can go just check out Wantable on the subscription box directory at your leisure. Uh, those two, this company and Wantable literally are my entire wardrobe. Everything I wear is from one of those two, which means I am never at the mall, standing in lines, trying on clothes and fitting rooms. Everything is coming here. I try it on, I walk around in it, I wear it, I have my husband vote, I have my kids vote, and then after five days, I put it in the box, UPS comes and picks it up, and I'm done. It is easy breezy. If you have questions on something I haven't addressed here, is it on the subscription box directory down below? Comment. I will get you taken care of. I think I've been around with Front Door Fashion long enough to answer most questions. All right, you guys, I hope that this is helpful. I want to bring more fashion your way more staple things that we really do need. I love all of the subscriptions that are out there, but I wanna start carefully curating a list for you guys of the subscriptions that are really worth hanging on to in the long run. Say you're running into budget issues. You probably don't need three self-care boxes. Yeah, I said it. We don't need it, it's just not a need. But you do need clothes, and if you're in a business atmosphere, you're gonna need nice clothes. So I'm gonna to try to start finding some subscriptions that have good value, good community, good curations, good people behind them that are actually gonna save you time, money, and spark joy in your life. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.